Okay, so check this out. This is the all new Xtool Metal Fab CNC Metal Cutter and Welder. Xtool claims you can literally turn this on and start using it without any previous experience. I think this notion of metalworking made simple is going to be the future of how metalworking gets done in every small workshop, and it's coming soon from Xtool. Let's take a look. If you have a workshop, then at some point you're going to need to be able to cut some metal for a project or maybe weld something, but that's not your only problem. The big issue for most of us is that we don't have budget for a TIG welder or a plasma cutter. And I don't know about you, but the last time I touched a welder was when my daily job required me to get here before 9 a.m. So I was pretty excited when Xtool announced their metal fab project because they claim that it's a business tool at a hobby price. And most importantly, anyone can use it. So if you're like me and you can see the potential for this cutter welder, I wanted to take you on a bit of a deeper dive to see what creative doors a CNC metal cutter and welder will open for any growing business. So what is a metal fab? Well, if you watched Xtool's kickoff video for this product, then you know this is the first time somebody has taken a laser welder and a CNC metal cutter and put them in the same package. And that gives, gives Xtool a lot of advantages, or at least Xtool's users, because it means that you're kind of turning that traditional process of metalworking on its head. If you look at how traditional metalworking happens, if you want to make something out of metal, you have to cut it out probably with a bandsaw, then you have to grind it so that it's, it's, the edges are flat, then you put it together, you weld it, and then you have to take a grinder and grind it all smooth again. Just very complex, mundane work. Now, by contrast, Xtool has taken all of those steps and effectively eliminated them with automation. And they've got the process of making something with metal narrowed down to two steps. You cut it and you weld it. And as far as, as, as the cutting and welding, it's all automated, which means the learning curve is greatly reduced. Xtool says no experience. I, I, I'm interested to find out how true that is. Um, and it also provides a safer workspace. So if you're cutting something with the metal fab and it's inside the CNC cabinet, then there's no sparks flying around. If you're welding, there's no explosive gases like, a, like you would have with oxyacetylene. There's no high current like you would have with, with any kind of electric arc welding or, or TIG welding. So all in all, I think they, they have a great opportunity here to change the world of metalworking. And, and it looks, if you watch their video, it looks like they've, they've achieved that. Now, as far as, as, far as the, the machine itself, cutting and welding, you can do that either with freehand or if you're cutting, you can also use the CNC platform, which means you're going to get very precise cutting, uh, way more precise than you could get with uh, with doing anything by hand or with a bandsaw. So I think right away you're going to see some, some quick advantage. Now, if you've ever used an Xtool product, then you probably already have some understanding of how to use this metal fab because it's all XCS based. And that means you, you, if you understand how to use XCS, then you'll, you'll get how to do CNC cutting with this. And as an added bonus, the metal fab will also do rust removal. And that one's probably a, a bit of an outlier for a lot of people, but it is kind of cool as, a, as just a throw in feature. So I managed to get my hands on the specifications here uh, and I'll just go through some of these quickly. It's a fiber laser. Now there's two configurations. You can get the 800 watt fiber laser or the 1200. Uh, very impressive power, uh, terrifyingly impressive actually. Uh, I mentioned the, the modes of operation, welding. Now you can do, with welding, you can do continuous welding, spot welding, uh, pulsed welding. And there's one other one that I, I hadn't heard the term before, but the, the traditional modes that you would do with, with welding, uh, even if you're doing uh, electric welding, uh, definitely cutting, CNC cutting or freehand. And of course, rust removal. Uh, the CNC cutting is done inside the CNC platform. Uh, lots of metals, uh, including things like copper, which is something I've never actually thought about anybody welding before, uh, but it can do it. Galvanized sheet, which is if, if your spot welding is pretty simple, but if you're uh, doing a seam, uh, galvanized sheet is very hard to weld because it tends to burn out and 
they I've, I've seen video of them doing it 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 works really well uh, and you can do things like magnesium which I definitely won't be doing because magnesium is very flammable so uh, it, it ignites and causes insanely hot fire so no magnesium for me maybe your your experience is different but uh, uh, lots of metals about 90 percent of metals including silver uh, that would be very cool to see uh, workspace area 610 by 610 so two feet by two feet uh, and then there's a pass-through available uh, for the platform and that gives you two feet wide 610 and infinity in length which means you can make really great looking metal signs maximum speed for for cutting in this particular case 400 millimeters should be per second you can see all of the the materials for and the maximum thickness uh, some of them aren't listed here yet but three millimeters for copper again cool <laughs> we'll, we'll see um, galvanized sheet up to five millimeters which is again impressive software x tool creative space and of course that runs on on pretty much any platform so i think it'd be kind of cool to control your cnc uh, cutter from your phone uh, all the formats again these are all all x tool xcs uh, features two cameras the 16 uh, megapixel for for the close-up camera and the panoramic camera the full workspace at five megapixels uh, manual focus on this uh, lots of safety certification stuff which is important of course and xtool has a long relatively long history of paying attention to, to safety which is one of the reasons i i'm a big fan of of xtool uh, so you can actually watch through the the window of the of the cnc platform at things cutting uh, note the weights here so the weight of the of the welder box the laser box itself 41 kilograms that's I don't know basically double it for uh, to convert to uh, to pounds so it's actually probably about 48 pounds the CNC platform 150 kilograms this is a big beast and the last couple things of note here, this metal fab runs on 220 volts. So if you're in North America, you probably will need to call an electrician to get an additional drop put into your work area. And that's an extra cost. The other thing to be aware of is welding and cutting metals generally requires uh, some sort of gas uh, for your welder. And that could be argon or nitrogen. It could be compressed air. It could be even oxygen depending on which materials you're working with but the point is those are all running costs and it's just one more thing to be aware of that that once you get this isn't like a, a regular laser once you get it you still have costs that you have to pay for so keep all of that in mind all right the last question is who is this metal fab for fab for there's really four groups of people. There's, there's people who are artist and jewelry maker type people. And it's pretty obvious. They generally don't know how to weld and, and, you know, cut metal with any kind anything, but a file or, or a hacksaw. So those people can benefit from the, the zero learning curve of something like this. Uh, then there's people who are makers or fabricators. That's people like me, probably a lot of you where, uh, I do a lot of prototyping and small run uh, parts for, for people, uh, sometimes custom components, and I do them in plastic and acrylic right now, but having the ability to do this in metal will open an entirely new market for me, so I'm, I'm, I think there's a real opportunity there. Uh, and then there's the traditional welder types, so welding shops where you know they do vehicle repairs i broke a clamp on my muffler and i take it in and and the beauty here with the metal fab is they can use the rust removal uh, capability of the metal fab to take all the rust off and then weld it while it's still on the vehicle they don't have to take things apart and then finally the people who already are traditional welders so they work with gas or they work with with um, a tig welder or or a standard arc welder those people are looking for ways to save time and money and something like a metal fab because they're already experts they'll just be able to blow through things with this new capability 
and their environment that they work in as a result will generally be improved because they won't be venting gases out into the atmosphere uh, locally and in the world and uh, there won't be fumes because there's not a ton of, of any of wide area heat when you're using this tool so I think they'll all enjoy that. Now I don't have an affiliate link to give you yet. Xtool hasn't announced package details or pricing on this yet but when it's available I'll post it both in the video description down below as well as the community tab. Now if you aren't getting messages from the community tab click the bell and that will give you notifications of things like this as well as when I find sales or big discounts on, on lasers and CNC equipment, I post them there. So who knows, you can, you can save some money if you, if you pay attention to the community tab as well. Now, I do have a challenge for you. Since Xtool hasn't announced any pricing on this, I popped up a slide here to show you uh, both the price range for uh, laser welders as well as CNC cutters and of course the metal fab is both of those so you know here's a challenge for you post a comment down below with your guess on how much this metal fab is going to cost and we'll see who's closest I had a guess and I've seen some things that lead me to believe that my guess was way too high so uh, so try your luck. We'll see who, who gets it. I'll announce something probably on my community tab of who actually won the guessing contest. And that will give you bragging rights on, on uh, certainly my channel as well as uh, come to our live stream and you can do it there as well. With that, I'll wind down and I'll say get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.